here. Apricot trees are supposed to be open in the center. This tree is closed. Um, there's vegetation that's grown through the middle of the tree and we have to remove it. So when we start looking at a tree, the first thing we want to do is remove any broken wood, any dead wood, any wood that appears to be diseased. Then we go to crossing wood, wood that's doing this in the canopy. They all require that the center of the canopy be open. And so I'm going to start just by going inside this tree and I'm going to begin removing a lot of the wood that's growing right through the middle to open it up. That's not only going to bring sunlight in so we get fruit inside the tree, it's also going to allow me to stick my head in here. That's real handy. Uh, that's about the limit of what a lopper will do right there. Uh, anything bigger than that, you best use a, prune, a uh, pruning saw. Right. You have a lane. There's a lot of gravity here, so there's weight on the top. Start here, take it off like that. That way you don't have stress down here because otherwise as the limb falls away it will grab the bark and it will break the wood, peel the bark and damage the tree. Um, at this point there's no weight on that. There, we take it off just like that. Uh, here again some more. Still too many layers of branches, the inside of the tree is shut and there's a lot of crossing wood in here. I really want to open this up so before we get doing anything else. All right, here we had somebody that made a cut in the past. You want to really avoid trying to make cuts like this. This stem or limb was cut in mid-stem and it wasn't given any alternate. This branch essentially at this point has been ruined. It's really not of any good in this tree. Uh, it's also growing into the branch above it, so you have two limbs in the same plane, and we're just going to take this out. So far, so good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take this baby off here then, so we don't have to. Next, to understand how apricots fruit. Apricots fruit mostly on last year's wood. How do you tell what's last year's wood, right? Always the question. It's the skinniest wood in the tree. It's the wood that's on the outside of the tree, mostly. <laughs> okay, the oldest wood is down in there. Now, it's the wood up here that has these nice little fruit buds on it. Some varieties of apricots do make what's called a fruiting spur. But these are fruiting spurs here. They're little short twigs that have clusters of buds on them. There will be fruit on this wood also. Okay, well, as we're trying to limit the length of the limbs on this tree for two reasons. We get too many apricots out here, the weight of the branch is going to collapse, it'll break the tree. So we're trying to push the fruiting wood to the center of the tree every year, okay? It's by limiting how many apricots are in the tree, we're going to get less apricots, but they're going to be a lot bigger. Also, when we cut back on the wood, it's going to stimulate the tree to grow lots of brand new wood. Well, it's the brand new wood that makes the apricots. And so if we let the tree get old and overgrown, it's not going to fruit the same way it would. Apricot varieties differ in, uh, on the new growth. They vary as far as where the most fruitful buds are. Blenheims typically produce the most fruitful buds in the bottom two-thirds of last year's growth. All right, so I'm going to cut this off and get it out of the tree so we can look at this, okay? Here we have the tip of the shoot from last year only has little single buds. I'm going to pass it around so you can all look at this thing, all right? But down here a ways, starting right about there, we start to get double buds and almost like little spurs with buds. That's where the fruit's going to be. On this particular tree, we can remove one-third of the length of the, this shoot and we'll be okay. It'll shorten things up, it'll limit how much fruit comes. Most of the fruit's gonna come down here anyway. And so on Blenheim, we can do that. Now on some of the other varieties, apricots, that's not true. So apricot pruning is actually very complex. It's one of the worst. <laughs> so you guys got in on the hardest job there is in the orchard if there are mixed varieties. If they're all the same apricots, not a problem. If the twig has strong buds all the way to the tip on a variety that will tip bare, we don't shorten last year's twigs. That's weird, right? Because everybody wants to cut the trees back. Well, we don't shorten last year's twigs. You'll lose a good part of your crop if you do. One other thing to worry about in here, and it's twig blight. See this junk in here? It looks like amber. 
that sap. It's from an infection. Apricots are very susceptible to it. In reality, we shouldn't be pruning these trees right now because they're kind of damp. They should have been done in fall. But you do want to look around the canopy for, large, for wood that has large amounts of that sap flowing from it. Those would be branches that we'd say they're going away. Okay, And so we try to favor wood that doesn't show a lot of it and uh, get rid of the wood that does. Okay, This tree is a hopeless <coughs> tangle of all sorts of branches. It's way too thick. Uh, to simplify things here, I'm going to start off by taking this one off on this limb. So I've already kind of opened the center of the tree. Now I'm going to start walking around the outside. When we approach pruning any tree, always start from the bottom up. Start at the ground, look up into the canopy. You see a lot of these guys around the neighborhoods, professional tree trimmers, who get up there on a cherry picker and they look down over the trees and they stub these things. They cut them into hopeless, miserable hat wretches of what used to be beautiful trees. Okay, Their, their, their thinking process is from the outside in. Uh, we really don't want to do that. You want to start from the ground up. You want to be looking here first, going up through the canopy so that when you finally get to the top of the tree, you have very little work left to do. Everything will be laying down on the ground anyway. Uh, this one here, it's got a huge gob of sap, worse than twig uh, blight. This is actually a full-fledged canker right here. And it's also straight up through the center of the canopy. It's bad form. We want branches that are much more horizontal than that. And so I'm going to take this one out to open this tree up. Apricots will fruit on the inside and the outside of the tree if there's enough light on the inside to support them. When we get done, the tree should look uh, sort of like a mixing bowl from the top. Hopefully the branches on the main trunk are distributed like spokes of a wheel, sort of evenly, you know, well balanced. Here again, this one is going through the middle of the canopy and so I'm going to take it off of here. Again, I can do these in one single cut just because they're light enough that I can grab them with my hand. If we have wood that is very heavy, you want to take it in several cuts. You may even want to make your cut slightly offset so there's a notch that makes a hinge. If I, here, I got one more in the middle of this tree. It's still too much. You see how the center has actually been filled by this? Again, I'm going to take this in two cuts. Cut it here first. There it goes. Ah! I see the sky! I feel much better. Okay, now, take this off right here. Um, here was an example of where this limb was stubbed, and because it was cut off in mid-limb, you end up with a broom on the end. Uh, that means you have a cluster of uh, branches all senselessly coming, kind of senseless, the way they came out. There's almost nothing that has any good flow. Sometimes. I'm going to take this one off because it aggravates me. <laughs> What's the lifespan of an apricot tree? Mm, 20 years, maybe. They're usually so seriously infected with diseases by that point that they aren't worth salvaging. Uh, we have some older ones in the orchard over here, and they're so full of canker and twig blight. That's essentially why it moved into all the new trees that were put in so rapidly, because the old trees were left. They were OK. I'm happy. I'm going to stop right there. It leaves enough wood for the tree to fruit. we got it open in the middle. We've driven things backwards.